Hey guys, Lepe here. Today I will show you how to do the puzzle in Sierra Island in order to make the water disappear. You will need to first do the other world quest, Sierra Storm Chasers, in order to unlock these waypoints. So if you haven't done that, I will put the link to the video in the description below. So we can teleport to the waypoint here or the one below. So here we see that right now it's filled with water down there. But it will be gone after solving this puzzle. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to teleport to this waypoint and jump down to the ground level. Clear the monsters and we will see that the switch is currently locked and we need to solve the first puzzle in order to unlock the switch. Here we are going to step on the tile so you can just follow what I do but basically you just need to light up only the top left, top right, bottom right and the middle blocks and if there's any extra just step on them again. So now we can enter the cave. We're going to glide down and glide towards east. Here clear the two monsters and the switch is unlocked. So let's continue to glide out to the bottom and here you will find a Sealy. So just follow it. It's able to pass through this red shield but we can't. Near the door we will find a red switch so interact with it. And this shield is deactivated. So follow the Sealy up until it passes another red shield. And we are going back to the stairs. And on the right, we will see a yellow switch. So interact with it to deactivate the yellow shield. And inside, we will find another red switch. So interact with it and the second red shield should be deactivated. So now we can go back. But first, let's interact with the yellow switch again. So the first ceiling is completed and we will get a chest. Next, we are going to follow the second Sealy until it passes this red shield. Now let's head up and take two left turns and we will find a way down to the shield. So we are going to go down and let the Sealy continue. Now climb up and follow the Sealy until it passes the yellow shield. Now there's a red switch nearby, so interact with it. And we see that the red shield behind the yellow one is deactivated. And we're going back through this path and we will find a yellow switch here. So interact with it. And now we can go back. And we see that both shields are deactivated and the second Sealy is completed. So now let's continue with the last Sealy. Follow it all the way until it passes through this blue shield. Now we will go left and follow the path. Take 
take the stairs and eventually we will come to this red switch. So interact with it once and let's head back. And here we will see a blue switch. So interact with it. After that, take the stairs up. And we will find a yellow switch here. So interact with it. And now we can go back to the CD. see that the blue shield is deactivated and from here the puzzle is basically done Just need to follow the Sealy and glide all the way down. And there are a few chests await. So I hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future uploads. And I will see you in the next one.